everybody. So, Kevin Craft here, Columbia, Maryland, Second Swing Tour Van. This will be the fourth and final, fifth and final? One, two, three, yeah, fifth and final segment on my What's in the Bag. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. If you've got any questions, please hit me up, kcraft at secondswing.com. Uh, what's the most important club in our bag? Very arguably the putter. Um, it's the only club that we typically use on every single hole. Hopefully we're holding some shots out now and then so we don't have to, but um, you know, we're gonna use this more than we're gonna use anything else in our bag. So big changes for me for 2020. I have been a blade putter guy for ages and a very fine gentleman named Larry Bobka who works for us up in, the, uh, up in Minneapolis. Uh, happens to be Lucas Glover's coach, uh, PJ Tour player. Uh, he's kind of our, uh, Larry's kind of our resident short game guru. Came in to do some training with some of the guys here in the store and uh, was fortunate enough to have him spend a little bit of time with me. I haven't had a putting lesson in about 23 years, so um, he came in and just changed everything. Like, um, strokes different, style of putters different, Everything's just different, and, uh, and all for the better. So I've been a blade guy, mid-toe hang, right? So my tendency has usually been to miss things a little bit to the right. So he's got me in a face balance mallet. So obviously the uh, aesthetics are considerably different from what I'm used to. Uh, I have chosen for this season a uh, Odyssey Stroke Lab Bird of Prey kind of futuristic looking. Got a great sight line on this thing though, right? So it's very, very easy to line up. Uh, we've got pretty high MOI. We've got a lot of weight pushed out and back on this putter. And that face balance hopefully is gonna help keep me from losing so many putts off to the right. Um, you know, Larry came in and I've always been a guy who would, you know, stroke through it and really make that long, extended follow through and he basically said no don't do that so um, I'm trying to be a good student and try to listen to what he's been telling me um, if you watch a lot of the players on tours best putters out there uh, Ricky Fowler Brant Snedeker um, you know these are these guys make more of a pop stroke Jordan Spieth another one right so they don't have this long flowing uh, stroke but they make a concerted effort to hit the ball and once it's gone as Larry explained to me it doesn't really matter so much what we do except that if you know for me I was tending to get a little moving a little bit to the left and manipulating the face angle a little bit so the way this club is set up face balanced 33 inches eyes over the ball uh, it's designed to help me not manipulate the face. And so far, this is producing really good results. Um, some of it may be mental. Never heard that before, right? Golf being mental. Um, I had a terrible season putting last year. About a third of the way through the year, um, I just stopped making putts. And then the more I didn't make putts, the more I thought I couldn't make putts. And by the end of the year, I didn't think I'd ever make anything again. And um, he's now adjusted the, the mush that was between my ears uh, significantly. So now I actually feel like I'm gonna make everything. I'm not gonna make everything, but at least I feel like I'm gonna make everything. So um, this thing seems great, right? I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to continuing to work with it, get on some better greens. Haven't been on some very good greens yet this year. Um, it is April, right? So it's not like we're very far into the season up here in the north, even though we had a great, uh, pretty mild winter. Um, now we're on lockdown, we can't really do much. But uh, last component on this guy is the grip. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of the way the super strokes and winds feel, and it's that material they use. So I like the, the performance characteristic of it. Uh, this is a little thicker grip than I've been using, but I like it. Uh, but it's got that, rub that rubbery feel more of a rubber texture, more of a traditional. Whether this grip will make it through the season or not remains to be seen. And we got some new golf rides that uh, 
that I, I've been eyeing up back in the uh, in the build shop. But um, this is where I'm at for 2020 with putter. Uh, I'm excited. I'm probably as much excited about the stroke as I am about the putter itself. But this is a good combination of things uh, to help me be positive and also to you know be confident. So. Um, you know, that's what this whole thing's about, right? You come in for club fitting, we're gonna find as good a performing product as possible, right? And that should lead to more confidence. That's what we want out of this whole thing. Take away the question marks and just put good positive thoughts and vibes into your head, right? So come and see us at Second Swing as soon as we're back open again. Um, we are starting to do some online fitting, so if you're interested in that aspect of things, Call our customer service line. Um, we can get in, get you in touch with a fit. You might even get to talk to me. Um, we can do a lot of this, this fitting over the phone. Nothing's going to take the place of actually hitting shots and you know getting a, a sense of things. But we can definitely help you out even in these current current situations. So thanks for a lot for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for putting up with me. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.